Hey everyone, it's Kato, and in today's catnap video, we're going to be dreaming of Willow Set created by Tasha. I am so excited about this island, and I know you will be too. So, if you're interested in content like this and you want to see more in the future, I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell if you want to get notified every time that I post. But let's get right into it. So this is Willow Set, like I said, created by Tasha, and she describes her island as vintage Japanese river core, and I have seen pictures, and they are seriously mind-blowing, jaw-dropping, all the things. I am so, so excited. And... A few things on her dream address release post over on Instagram. I will have all of her social media linked down in the description if you want to go check her out. I highly recommend her page. Um, she does say that there are some goodies on the small beach just left of the airport, so we're going to check that out. You can only access the front beaches, so they are the only ones that are decorated. Uh, the campsite is hidden off to the side, not accessible. It does not bring her joy, and we approve this message. That's totally fine. Same thing with inside her house. It is also not decorated. It also does not bring her joy, <laughs> and honestly, a vibe. I, I support this. So, last thing she said, we're going to make our way this way. Oh my gosh, I'm already just so excited but the last thing she said there are 10 ocarinas hidden on this island um and if you find them all she wants you to tag her on instagram and show it off because apparently it's not easy to do i mean can we just stop it look at this i am already so excited let's see if we can find okay wow okay this is a lot of goodies Look at this street here. So, so adorable. I just know this is going to be yet another island tour of me 100% just fangirling. So let me try to grab all these presents really quick. We will head back to the airport. We will get started. But I am so, so excited. I know I've said that. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> Alright, balloon. Always good. Cider. Great. Okay, lots of handheld items, which I do love. Love a good handheld. So many options. Oh my goodness. Ooh, even a handheld lantern. We love that. Light stick, my fave. Honestly... The light stick might be one of the best items in the game. I just love the way that you shake it around. I think it's so, so cute. Okay, so you've basically got any option that you would want of something to hold. She has it here for you. So, look. I mean, have you ever seen an entrance quite like this? I have never seen an island like this and I just am so blown away by it I don't even know what to say it's just stunning all of the custom patterns all of the stuff look at this with the TVs over here that is so cool Oh my gosh, I love them too because they change at the same time. That is just... Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it. Oh, is this an ocarina? Wait, did I just find one? I'm not going to be looking for them, but I mean, if we see them, we'll go ahead and grab them. But I highly recommend... Let me open the map again and see if she has her dream address. Yes, okay. Dream address is on the screen right there at the bottom. I will have it down in the description as well, like I always do. Definitely check it out. See if you can find the 10 ocarinas. I don't imagine that I will during this tour, just because I think that would take a lot out of me. And honestly, I don't know if I'm cut out for all that. So, <laughs> 
So we're just going to enjoy the beauty. I really love this road design. I love that it's green. I really, really, really love that it's green. And this, these little bags, another one of my favorites. I really, oh my gosh, I just can't get over the amount of detail and the custom patterns in this. And just wait, I have seen pictures of the housing areas and you guys aren't ready. You're just not ready. I mean, we're about to get there. Look at this. Look at these patterns. Look at how good they are. I know I'm not supposed to walk on the water and that's okay. It's okay, I just wanna see though. We're gonna defy <laughs> physics here and I'm gonna walk where I'm not supposed to walk. I love it. I mean, the villagers are, so it's okay if we do too, right? But I love the water everywhere and these as little boats to get across. It's just stunning. So well done. So unique. Oh my goodness. Look at this lookout. Look at that. Look at Deirdre over there. She is vibing. Wow. I mean, there are custom patterns everywhere. Oh, these are so cute too. That waterfall is stunning. Something about the waterfall with this tone of grass leading into this water custom path. I love it. Oh my gosh, look how good it looks over there. Yeah, just so, so unique. I don't even know how else to describe this. I have never seen anything like it. And I don't know, I'm not sure if she made the designs herself. Um, I'm going to, I will have them listed down in the description or at least a link to her Instagram if she has them saved in her stories. One way or another, I'll have it linked to the patterns, any of them that she is able to provide, but these are amazing. I just, I really appreciate when someone has a theme and goes all out with the theme. It's hard to do. You know, having a theme as a guide can be really convenient and it can help, you know, spark some creativity but sometimes it is very hard to have a consistent theme throughout your entire island because it can get to be, I don't want to say boring because it's not necessarily boring. It's just you start to have to use the same items over and over because you're trying to keep that consistency throughout. And so I really, really appreciate someone who can go all in on something like this because it really does pay off in the end. Like if you can stick to it, stick to it because it looks so good. This pole here in the water, I love. That looks so cool. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, look at this with the bamboo trees. I mean, is that Hippo? No. What's his name? Rocco? Harry. <laughs> I'm just listing off all of the most hideous of villagers. Harry. I mean, Harry's kind of a vibe on this island. He fits the color palette. He's cute. I like him. He can, he can live here. He can stay here on this island. <laughs> and don't come to mine. You can just stay on this one. That's okay. Wow. So good. I wonder, did I, was I just down there? I think I was. And then I came back up here. Totally gonna get lost, by the way. And that's okay. Like I said, dream address will be listed down in the description. 
So if you want to visit on your own, if I do miss something, I totally apologize. Ooh, I want to get that. How many have I gotten? I've gotten three. I mean, that's not too bad. Three is better than none. Why is Deirdre not moving? Is she just happy to be there on her little island? I mean, you're allowed to move. I do like her house here, though. The coloring is very nice. I mean, all these houses look so good. I like all these little chairs, too. The oil barrels spread around. And I say this every time I see them, but I can't not say it. The buckets with the fish in them are some of my favorites. I really d do love the way that the buckets look. And I never remember to use them. But they look so nice. I think she also said something about like there's one way in and there's one way out. So I'm hoping that I did that correctly. And we saw everything that we were supposed to see. No guarantees. No guarantees. Let's go ahead and open this and double check that it's an ocarina. Whoops. No, don't drop the item. Why is that the top thing? <laughs> I mean, I know it's so you don't accidentally open something you're not trying to open, but also why? Oh, I love this little view. These custom designs are so cool. I want to live here. I really, really want to live here. Fairy. Ooh. Wait. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Okay. Wow. That. I've seen a lot of boat designs before, and this might be one of the best ones. Look at those fairy designs. They're so good. What is that little small sign called? I'm totally blanking on what it is. I know everyone's shouting in the comments. If you know what it is, just go ahead and yell it at me. It's fine. Um, those little signs and the way that she has customized them, these right here, with the bamboo design to make it flow so nicely. These are an underrated, underused item. I think people could get so much more creative with this item. I am not that person. I am not the most creative person, but I know people can get so creative with these. That looks so good. I love it. Oh, can I not? I can't get back there, I don't think. Oh, I just, that's so cool. That is really so, so cool. What are those called? It's gonna drive me nuts the whole time, but that's fine. Someone will let me know. I know someone will let me know. Half screen or something like that, maybe? I don't know. This is cool. Yeah, see, like that yellow bucket over there? Just this whole vibe is a yes. You know, this whole like fishing market, just so cool and original. Oh, I love it. Whoa, look at this with the trees inside of the bookshelves. That is so cool. Oh, I love you too. Thank you. <laughs> That's so nice. Wow, what a cool area. That is neat. Um, yes, I love everything about that. Wait, how did I get here? <laughs> what did I do to get here? Do I need to go down? More ferry boats over here. Every time I say the word ferry boats, all I think about is Grey's Anatomy, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if you do think that, and I'm sorry if you don't think that at the same time. I don't know what that means, but 
just know. That's what I'm thinking. This is cool too with the floating lanterns. So pretty. Another great item, the lanterns. So cool. Oh yeah, the green path. This path is really nice too. That could look really pretty on so many different islands. A jungle island, perfect. A spring core island even could use this. Even like an autumn core island. I think this could go both ways. Um, also look at this little cactus vibe. I love that. All right, we're behind the museum now. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Amazing walkway right here. I love the use of the standees here. Is this where I came from? I think yes. I think I went straight. I didn't turn. Right? I don't really know. And I only have three ocarinas so far, so I'm definitely not going to find all ten. Which is fine. But like a little bit of me was like, oh, maybe I can find, you know, five. But I'm not feeling very confident about that. Okay, we're going to go up here. Oh my gosh. Ooh, another one. <laughs> cool. Wandering. This is a cool area. I love it. What an amazing overlook again. Everyone is just so good at this game. Like we're not, I'm seriously, we're not even playing the same thing. Where? Okay. I need to go down and then down again, actually, because I do need to explore down here some. I think I can go through here. This area is so cool. I love the fan and the lounge chair right there. Oh, this is her house back here. Oh, amazing. Look at it and look at her. So cute. Oh my gosh, look at it when I pan up. That looks so cool. Everything is layered so, so nicely. These are cute too. Look at them floating in here. This ripple design in the water is just perfect. I don't even think I can talk to her. I think she's stuck in there. <laughs> Does she always spawn in there, I wonder? I don't know, but she's stuck. I don't even think I can talk to her. I love the laundry area. I love the multicolored washing machines. Honestly, yes. It's giving me like kid core. I know it's not, but I love it. With the socks and the drying rack, yes. Everything about it, so good. This island is just so cool. It's so cool. Once again, so many items that I do not see very often. Whoa, look at that. Look at that standee design. Such a nice design right there. I mean, look at her just using a folding lamp right here. Who gave her permission to do that? and make it look so good. I could never, I could never do that. I love these little walkthroughs. Oh, it's just, how long did this, this must have taken so, so long. Worth it though. It has to be worth all the effort because it's just absolutely amazing. I just know how frustrated, I mean, I was just trying to build this pumpkin area today and I was getting so frustrated trying to layer the items because you have to like move one thing to put down another thing. And so these kind of areas 
these really narrow Japanese inspired alleyways and those really cool areas like that they just have to be like painstakingly difficult to put together it has to be there's the museum right there front beach love it I love the oil barrels and the street I love that street design so much oh I love trash I do love a good trash area and I don't often see the blue trash bags being used so props to you for using the blue trash bags I do not see another ocarina and I'm kind of upset about it because I thought for sure there would be one over here and there's not how many do I have only four? Oh, I'm such a <laughs> failure oh my gosh okay Oh, I don't want to leave. It's just so good. Again, I know that I've missed some things because there's just so much to see. But that's the good thing about dream addresses. Everyone can visit. You can go spend as much time exploring as you want to. This island, seriously, 20 out of 10. Like, it's it surpasses 10. There's no way I can even just give it a 10. It's next level. I could never. I love it. Thank you so much, Tasha, for letting me visit. Thank you for letting us roam your island. It's just so absolutely stunning. I really do appreciate it. As I said, I will have all of her information down in the description below if you want to check her out. If you're interested in any of the codes that will all be down there thank you again and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did i'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye